वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.28 सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यूजिंग ई इज इक्वल टू 200 गेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ड्यू टू बेंडिंग फॉर द स्टील बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन इग्नोर द इफेक्ट ऑफ शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी एंड दिस बीम इज वाइट फ्लैंज बीम डब्ल्यू थ्री सिक्सटी बाई सिक्सटी फोर दैट इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड एट पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट बी एट पॉइंट सी देर इज अ लोडिंग ऑफ वन एटी के Newton. So total length of the beam is four point eight meters. So you have to find the strain energy due to bending for steel beam. So let's start with the solution. So first of all, let if I assume that this load is represented as P and this total length is L is equal to four point eight meter, and this two point four is basically L by two. so we will make our problem more easier and at the end you can put these values to get the numerical value of this uh, problem so if uh, first step our first step is to uh, to find the reaction forces at point a and b if we remove these support so we have a reaction force at this point which is r a and at this point if this reaction force will be r b since this point is acting at a at half of the beam so it means that r a is equal to r b and that is equal to p by 2 also if you are confused here so you can apply the sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you will get r a will be equal to p by 2 and from this you can just use in other equilibrium condition that sum of all moment sum of all forces along y direction and upward force is taken as positive you will get rb is equal to p by 2 so you can just apply your this concept to verify which uh, that i have written ra is equal to rb is equal to p by 2 now we will move toward our portion that we will find the strain energy over portion ac so for that i have to cut the beam on portion ac and let this is the cut portion okay at point a we have ra which is equal to half of p let the portion where we have cut this distance is x x variate so x is greater or equal to 0 and less or equal to l by 2 so when you cut the beam over this section so there will be a shear force and there will be external moment m this is point a and let this point is o so we will find the moment equation for this so sum of all moment about point o is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point o we have the first moment is due to this load p by 2 into perpendicular distance is x and it is clockwise so it will be negative so minus p by 2 into perpendicular distance x plus their external moment reaction moment which is clock counter clockwise so their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you can get m is equal to uh, p into x divided by 2 now this is the moment equation that we will used in strain energy for the portion ac and that is equal to m square dx divided by 2 ei and limit will be x start from 0 to l by 2 so you can just put the value 0 to l by 2 m square is px divided by 2 whole square divided by 2 ei and that will be equal to integral of 0 into l by 2 p square x square over 4 divided by 2 e i and if you further simplify it so strain energy in portion ac is equal to p square over 8 e i into integral of 0 to l by 2 x square into dx so there is dx also here okay now 
you can integrate it so it will be equal to p square over 8 e i and that will be equal to x cube over 3 and limit will be 0 to l by 2 so if you further simplify it you will get p square l cube over 192 e i so this is strain energy over portion a c okay now you can see that uh, by symmetry since at point c you can see at if you cut the beam at point c so load over this region is equal to load over this region so it means there is symmetry so by using symmetry i will write it by symmetry we know that u a c is equal to u c b and that is equal to p square l cube over 192 e i okay so this is u a c this portion is u a c and this portion is u c b okay now we total strain energy which is equal to u is equal to u a c plus u c b so if you add them so p square l cube over 192 e i plus p square l cube over 192 e i that will give you p square l cube over 96 e i that is total strain energy for the beam under given loading now you have the value of p p is given as you can see 180 kilo newton e is 200 gigapascal so i will write it p is equal to 180 kilo newton so 180 into 10 to the power 3 newton e is equal to 200 gigapascal and that is equal to 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal length of the beam is 4.8 meter i will show you you can see length is equal to 4.8 meter and we do not know i so for i you have to go to the property table of uh, this w360 by 64 so you have to go at the end of uh, appendix in which property of rolled steel section so this is w 360 by 64 and that is in millimeter so you have to go to in si system so w 360 by 64 so okay so you can see this is w 360 by 64 and the value of i is this one 178 into 10 raised to power 6 millimeter power 4 so note down and we will write it over here 178 into 10 raised to power minus 6 millimeter power 4 sorry plus 6 let me check it this is plus 6 okay so plus 6 in term of meter it will be equal to 178 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4 now we have each and every value you can just put it u is equal to p square so 180 into 10 to the power 3 whole square into l cube l is 4.8 so 4.8 cube divided by 96 multiply by e is 200 into 10 to the power 9 and i is 178 into 10 to the power minus 6 so if you simplify it further you will get 1048 newton into meter or you can see the total strain energy is equal to 1048 newton meter is equal to joule so this is your final answer so i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, so keep watching the 
videos and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the you can see that you can press the bell icon thank you